Welcome back to my channel. This is Modesty33 here, aka Crystal with the C. Back at you with another video, but if you're new to my channel, you just happen to click on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I try to put out at least two videos a week. I am successful this week. I did put out two reaction videos, so you guys, if you're into my reactions, I just put out season one, episode 10 of Marvel's Runaways, and I just put out season two, episode one of The Gifted. So be on the lookout for more of the reactions for The Gifted, um, episode two and three. I will be catching up on those. So if you love my reaction videos, or if you love reaction videos, make sure you check out my channel. Um, I have a good bit of those on my channel for different series I've reacted to. Also, if you happen to like luxury, if you like makeup, if you like hauls of different items, well, you have tuned into the right video. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I have a bunch of those videos on my channel as well, as well as reviews, movie reviews, a lot of different reviews and a lot of different unboxings. So if you're into that as well, I have something for you as well. Make sure you check out my prior videos as well and make sure before you leave, you subscribe to my channel, you guys. So um, this video today is gonna be a haul probably yeah a very huge haul i didn't get all these things in one day <laughs> so i just want to put that out there but it probably has been in the past few weeks i would say the past two weeks and um i originally filmed some of this on my ipod touch you guys and i did like a vlog type of style on saturday of last week today by the way is um thursday i was gonna say wednesday uh, today is Thursday, October 11th, 2018. So I did film a somewhat of a vlog style video with some of these items, but I'm having difficulties with the iPod touch as far as like uploading the footage to YouTube. So I'm, I'm experiencing difficulties there. So I always am facing some type of difficulty or adversity when it comes to uploading videos. So I'll have to figure that out. But if you guys know any fix to that, basically my, on my iPod touch, when I try to upload like my vlog video which is like 33 minutes long from my adventures on saturday is telling me that youtube will only accept a 15 minute video so and i know that ain't true like there are full movies on youtube so anyway if anyone knows a fix to that you know holla back at your girl let me know so i can you know upload those videos because i still have my dallas vlog on my ipod touch and that's problematic if it's only 15 minutes so yeah anyone knows a fix to that Comment below, let me know so I can go ahead and edit those and get those out to you guys as well. But since I'm not able to do that, like I just went ahead and combined some of the stuff that I um, unboxed or talked about in that video in this video. So again, this is gonna be a haul and it's gonna include something I got from Sephora, um, L'Occitane, I'm probably not saying that correctly, but it is what it is. <laughs> but L'Occitane, um, as well as Pandora and Louis Vuitton. I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. So you guys, if you are excited about any of those things, stay tuned, keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is what I got from Sephora. I've got everything right next to me. Hopefully again, we won't be here all day and all night long. But, um, and then I say that and then we're here all day and all night. <laughs> but first thing I got was from Sephora um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is. It's a lipstick. Trust and believe it's a lipstick. So I got this on Saturday and this is the Fenty Beauty, one of her stunner lip paints. And I got the color Uncuffed. I'm gonna put it right here. And was just interested in this particular color just because I like mauve pinks. I'm actually wearing it on my lips now, you guys. I don't know how well you can see it. We have um, like torrential downpour here because of Hurricane Michael passing over us. So. The lighting is not the best, but hopefully you guys can still see, but it's like a mauve pink. Come in a little closer. So this was like the only color that really appealed to me out of her stun of lip paints. I have reds, um, I have a black, and I don't typically wear black. Um, what was the other colors? There was a red black, there was a really pale type of color, which I already knew wouldn't, I wouldn't buy my life. Um, I don't know what the other color was. Maybe that's four then. I think maybe that was it. Yeah, that was about it. So Uncuffed was really the only color that really appealed to me. So this is the box that it comes in. So um, kind of reminds me of the box that her foundation comes in. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. And like a lot of people said who've already done reviews, it does kind of, it comes in this bottle and it kind of reminds you of like a nail polish bottle. So this retail for $24. And if you open it up, 
This is what the wand looks like, you guys. So very different than any other um, lip color that I have. It does go on very liquidy and it dries down very nicely. And this is the color swatched on my hand here. Um, it's probably coming up a little bit lighter, but it is darker in person on my hand. So keep that in mind. That's why like if you have a Sephora near you, it's always good to go and look at the color in person and swatch it for yourself. Because, I mean, so many factors really determine how a lip color is going to look on you. The lighting, your pigmentation of your lips, your um, skin color. Um, so I definitely recommend going and looking and trying it for yourself. But I really do like this color. Nice, pretty mauve color. And if you happen to have Rihanna's Gloss Balm, you could put it over it if you feel like it might be like a little bit too light. So I'll go ahead and do that now and show you what that looks like. Okay. So this is um, uncuffed with Rihanna's um, Universal Gloss Balm on top of it. Let me come in a little closer. So this is work appropriate, I would say. This is a nice, you know, color if you want to wear it daily or to work. Um, I think it's a very nice color. So highly recommend it. Again, it retails for $24. So I've just been wearing it kind of the past few days and I've really liked it and enjoyed it. And it does have a good long wear time to it as well. Even after eating, you may have to reapply it in kind of your typical areas, which is like the middle of your lip. But other than that, it's straight. So next item, um, I got some lotions from L'Occitane and I discovered L'Occitane when we were in Dallas, Texas at the North Park Mall. They had a L'Occitane store. So um, I did show you guys um, in my haul video of the things that I got from Dallas and Austin and San Antonio when we went um, back last month. I did show you guys some lotions that I got. So I did go online um, using my Ebates and I did go and order some other additional items from L'Occitane because they had 20% off. So just wanted to monopolize on that. So they give you a couple of free gifts and samples. So these right here, they give you like three of these in this little yellow kind of envelope. So these are youth oil, a cream, and divine eye, divine eyes. Let me show you guys what these look like. So these are just kind of little samples for you guys. I highly, I really don't know if I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I'm into lotions. I'm getting into skincare, more skincare stuff, but. You know, I don't know how I feel about just kind of randomly trying stuff on my face. I mean, you don't know until you try it or you get a recommendation from somebody, but still, I don't know, I feel a little suspect about that. So that comes in this, you know, first yellow envelope. Um, yeah. Then in this second yellow envelope, you get these other samples. And I think there are three of these as well. And these are from like the almond type of lotion because I already have one of these that they gave us when we went to the store and this is like the almond one this is one of their best sellers so this is the um body lotion right here this one right here is a skin oil actually and then this third one is a shower oil so these are good like if you're going say over somebody's house for a day and you just need a little something something you don't want to take all your stuff you're trying to be very minimal these would be very good, you know, just for a good total body regimen when you go over someone's house for like overnight or something. If you're doing a sleepover, so that's cool. So I may in fact use those, we'll see. All right, so let's see what's in this box. And I got a ginger mint randomly in here. <laughs> so I just wanna show you guys what it looks like. And I did take a lotion out of here, so one is missing, I just wanna put that out there. So I did get three of these. Um, yeah, I got three of these. That's the one that's missing. These are the regular 20% hand lotions for, I believe they're for dry skin. Yeah, dry skin, hand cream. And these retail for like $12 a piece. But again, they were 20% off. Um, and I did get the set of three. So I think they were like $36 for the set of three. And then again, you get the 20% off. So again, I'm missing one because one of them is in my bag. But uh, let me pick up stuff that fell down here. Then I also got in this package, um, three of the lavender. So again, these retail for $36. 
and I really like this scent here and this is one of the original ones that I got when we were in Dallas so yeah these three came in a set and they're $36 but again 20% off so love it and then you also got this little gift too with your order and let's see what's in here so you open it up and this is what it looks like so it's three items that come in here the first item here is a cleansing oil and i believe it's for your face and like to remove makeup so that's the first item here this is it looks like it's got little eggs in it i don't know what that is but this is um reset serum essentially a reset yeah overnight reset oil and serum is what this one is I ain't gonna lie, I don't know if I'm gonna use that, y'all. I need to look at some reviews before I go putting anything new on my face. And then this is a light comforting cream, 5%. And that's what that looks like. So this was a, yeah, a little gift that um, I received with my order. So very nice. Um, you know, something nice too. Christmas is coming up if you happen to order and get some of these free gifts. You know, these are good to like put in a package to somebody. Um, just, you know, to give them a little extra, a little something, something. So that's in the first box and what I got from Lots of Pain. And I'm just gonna put that right over here to the side. And we'll look in this next box, you guys. All right, so this is the next box right here. So it's a bit bigger. And put that in here. that's what it looks like. So in this sample here, um, I ended up getting another three items. So this right here is an ultra thirst quenching gel. Uh, I don't know what that's for. I have to probably read on the back what that's for. And then I got two, where are these? Yeah, this is the dry skin hand cream, and I showed you that I had already gotten three of those. And then this is the Ultra Witch body cream. Um, I would have gotten this, because this is like, this one's 20% for the hand cream, and then the body cream is 25% as far as like the Ultra Rich Shea and how moisturizing it is. I would have gotten like some of, I would have gotten this one, but it only came in like a container. It didn't come in like the tubes, such as what I had. So I don't really like to, you know, have anything bulky like that because all my lotions really, for me, need to fit in my bag. So, yeah, I just got the dry hand cream. I didn't end up getting the ultra-rich body cream. But I highly recommend the body cream if you don't mind that, if you don't need to carry it with you, like just to kind of moisturize after you're taking a bath. I think that's very good as well. It's very, very nice on the um, skin. <clears throat> So first thing I got, I got actually two of these. These are the almond, I mean, this was upside down. This is like the almond hand cream. And so I already have like the smaller bottle and I actually did get another small, smaller bottle in here. So I did get <clears throat> actually three of these. This one is in 2.6 ounces here. So I got two of the 2.6 ounces and these retail for 24 a piece. So $48 for the two of these again um 20 percent off with my order and then this retail for 12 dollars. i already have one of these and i love the scent so much it has an almond scent to it i went ahead and got another one so again these are good for your bags and actually with these being 2.6 ounces they're airport friendly so keep that in mind as well let me open up and just show you how the size of the one so this is how much you get in this retail for 24 dollars by itself and again 20 percent off so let me put the smaller one up, kind of compare them for you. So this is the smaller one for $12 and this is the bigger one for $24. So, yep. And then I also got a soap and this is the almond soap. Y'all only got this because you know, it's one of those things where you're trying to get free shipping and so you're trying to add something small so you can go ahead and get that free shipping. That's what this item was. So, but I will use it. It's a soap and it's got the same almond fragrance. And then I got another one of these gift sets and it's the same one as the other one, so I'm not gonna open it. So it's the cleansing oil, the overnight serum, as well as the light comforting cream is in this one as well. So that's everything that I got from L'Occitane. So we stay hydrated this, this fall and winter. Yes, honey, yes. So 
Let me get into my exciting items. And these are the ones I've actually not yet seen, like the other items. Again, I've been wearing the lipstick. Um, I bought that on Saturday from Sephora. And then these items, the L'Occitane ones, I got these last week in the mail. So I've already seen these. I've used some of them, so they're not anything new. But this one right here, um, this is um, a package from Pandora. I did order this in the past week and I haven't yet seen the charm. So really, really excited about that. And let me show you the current state of my charm bracelet. So I'm gonna move this out the way first because it's obstructing my hand movements. <laughs> so before I open that, let me show y'all my um, bracelets and then like the charms that I have on there. So let's get in a little closer, you guys. So this is currently what my situation is looking at like. So this one right here does not come off of my hand. And this was the first bracelet that my mother sent me. This is the other one. This is the bangles one. So this one easily comes off. And this is the one I put charms on because I don't really like to wear this in the shower and get it wet. So currently I have a suitcase charm right here. I have a Texas charm because I've been to multiple places in Texas now. So really love that charm. And then on the back, it says Texas as well. Then I have a June moonstone because my birthday is in June. I have a passport charm and this was the first charm that I got. Um, because listen, I'm trying to get out this country, go travel a few places. I love to travel. Then I have this other charm, which is like a stay cool emoji. And I just liked it because it has sunglasses and purple lips and I love purple. So that's the current charm situation. And this is again, the um, bracelet that I typically will put my charms on since I can take it on and off. So I did get three new charms semi for the bracelet and let's see what they look like you guys. So open it up. This is what everything is looking like. And with my order, I did get a free jewelry box. So that's what this item right here is. And then the other ones are the charms. So let's open this first one up. So this is the first box. Let's see what this one is looking like. Oh, okay. So it comes in this little dust bag. I've never had one to come in a dust bag. Okay. I see you Pandora. So let's see, are these, yep, these are the bangles. So what these are, let me show you guys. They are little bangle balls that go on the end of um, the bracelet. I don't wanna drop them, that's why I'm kinda holding them carefully. So you see like on the ends where I have these two right here, I now have like these ones that are kind of like have little crystals. So it kind of dresses the bracelet up a little bit. They'll go on the ends here and I'll take these two off. So that's what these first two ones were. Uh, I'm sorry you can't, if you can't see it all the way, I just don't wanna like drop them. Okay, so that's the first one. And I think these retail for like $70, these bangle, yeah. And let's look at the second one. Whoop, whoop. Yes, honey, this right here, and it came in this little box. This is um, a princess charm. So it has like a little crown on top. I'm just trying to see if I can get my little princess situated. Okay, here we go. So this is a princess charm. And maybe I might like insert a picture or something like in here too so you guys can get like a better view or I'll probably attach it when I do upload this video. But um, so you can look at it on the website. But this is a princess charm. It has like a little crown. It's kind of like a little emoji. So I really wanted this one. And I already have the um, be cool emoji. So I, I wanted that one as well. So I think that one retailed for $50. And then... <clears throat> This one is a nice segue into <laughs> what I'm gonna be yeah, showing you guys next. So this is the last charm here and it's a dangle charm. And this is a clutch. I saw and I was like, yes, honey, that's me all the way because y'all know I love handbags. I have multiple reviews and a few unboxings on the channel. So this is like a little clutch. So I really like that. Can't wait to put that on my bracelet. That one retailed for $50 as well. And let's open up the jewelry box. This again, it's something that came with the order. And let's see what this one looks like. I already have a jewelry box, but I don't know what if this one is different. Yeah, this one looks different than the one I think I have. So this is the jewelry box that came with your order if you ordered 
like um, if your order came to like 125 or more. So this is like a kind of taupey gray color and it has a one pull out box here. And then also it's got, if you open it up, oh, it's got like a little mirror. I don't want to blind you guys, but, um, and then it's also got like the little compartments here. You can put your stuff in. So that's a nice little jewelry box. So yeah, that's what came with the order. And it's got like the little Pandora emblem right here. So again, this is what it looks like. And again, it's like a taupey gray color. So that's it right there, you gone. So that's my order from Pandora. So I'm really pleased with those charms. Cannot wait to put them on my bracelet. And I'll be doing that yeah, right after this video. So have no fear. I'm gonna be around here dangling and making all kind of noise. So I'm putting my bracelet back on. And last but not least, you guys, let me show you some things I got from the Louie. I went to the Louie. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute though. So let me show you the first item and then I'm gonna talk briefly about the second one because yeah, we, we get on up there in the video time length. But um, this item I actually got online, or not online, I actually wanted to get it online, but it's had that call for availability. This is a fairly new item. You can tell it's a small item, so yeah. But um, it's fairly new, and I happened to see a YouTuber, I think, um, what is her name? Pretty, was a Pink Butterfly Girl? I think, I'll try to see if I can link her channel below, but I'm subscribed to her. And she did this unboxing of this item. It is fairly new. And y'all, when I saw the item, it took my breath away. Rarely does anything that I see take my breath away. But I saw it and it took my breath away. My best friend actually has the same item because I was telling her about it. She saw it in person and she went ahead and bought it. And she has been calling me like every day since she bought it because she's like, girl, have you gotten it yet? Have you gotten it yet? Because it looks so good in person. It looks so much better in person than it does on pictures. So... I'm looking forward to unboxing it now. And best friend, yes, come on, come through. We twinning now. So let me go ahead and undo this and let's see what it looks like together. So it comes in this, again, oh my gosh. It comes in this box, you can already see it. Yeah, mommy doesn't know about this purchase. I've been talking to my mom for the past week, but she don't know about this one. You don't know nothing about this. So let me look at the little card first and see what it says before I go showing y'all all my little things. Okay, this is just a receipt. And this is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, well, let me show you the item and then I'll tell you what it is. So this is just a receipt that they sent with it. So this is the item, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. So this is a bandeau, as you can see. And I think a few of us now on YouTube have the same bandeau, probably because of pretty pink or pink butterfly girl. I think that's her name. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not saying it correctly. I'll try to link it below. But um, yes, this is the, let me give you the correct name. Oh, it's not, it's not on here. Let me see. But I believe it's the um, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, here it is. A Paris Rose Bandeau. And this is in the color pink. Um, it comes in like the pink, it comes in fuchsia, and it comes in blue. Fuchsia and blue didn't do nothing for me, but this pink right here, because it's not, it's like a pink, purple, and a gray. So I love purple, and I, oh my gosh, and I love gray. Purple and gray are actually two of the colors for um, my business. So, oh my gosh, this is really pretty. So on the front here, you see the Louis Vuitton, it's got the Eiffel Tower, and I've actually been to Paris, so it was kind of nostalgic to see it and just to see the craftsmanship of it. So it was really, um, when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to have it. And it's like, you know, like I kind of teetered on it a bit because I felt like, man, I don't need another bandeau. My best friend just bought me a bandeau for my birthday next year. Um, and I showed you guys that one in an unboxing, but, um, it's like when you see something you really like, especially a smaller item like this from Louis Vuitton, it's better to go ahead and get it because they, you know, because with social media and when people get wind of it, like it goes very quickly and then it's hard to find. So then, you know, you run here kicking yourself. And then if you buy it later on, 
you know, a lot of times you buy it second hand or whatever, you're going to be paying more money for it. So I just felt like out of all the bandos I've seen, this one just is so gorgeous and so detailed. So again, this is what it looks like on the front. On the back, it's got these trunks and this umbrella right here, which is so nice as well. And let me show you guys what the back side. Oh my gosh. Listen. This is what the back side looks like. And this is, I was in love, not just with the front, but with the back. Listen, y'all. Listen. Listen. I don't even know what to say about this. This is so gorgeous right here. So yes, mommy, I went and bought something else that I didn't need to, but it is gorgeous. I have no regrets. I have no regrets. Yes. So this is the bandeau right here. So um, it still is on the Louis Vuitton um, website. Again, it's recently released. Um, so if you guys are looking at it, make sure you call and see if they have it available. So I did happen to get this one from Las Vegas because it wasn't anywhere local at the time. Maybe it is, but um, this one I did have to get shipped to me from the Las Vegas Louis Vuitton. So this is my first item. I love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. So cannot wait to do whatever with that. I don't know if I'm going to put that on a bag or if I'm going to wear it. I don't know yet, but it just seems almost like too pretty to put on a bag. Like <laughs> I, I just do not know. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, you are not lying, best friend. It is absolutely gorgeous in person. So, you guys, let me show you the last item because you know that big old bag. This big old bag was not for that little item. So, um, let me show you this last item. And then we're going we gonna to wrap it up. So, um, before I show it to you, let me give you a little brief story because I talked about this in my vlog. But since I can't upload a vlog, I'm going to have to talk a little bit about it here. But essentially, guys, um, I noticed an issue with my Palm Springs mini backpack. Um, and my best, one of my best friends who came to visit me too, I showed her my Palm Springs mini because I was like, Oh, I love this bag. It's my newest bag. And she noticed the issue too. And basically like around, I don't, I don't unfortunately have pictures or anything of it, but, um, around the lip of the bag, you know, where you zip and unzip it. For those of you who have a Palm Springs mini or Palm Springs, you know, bag in general, you know, everyone knows that the zipper is kind of hard. Now mine, I've had my bag since May 26 is when I got it from the Charleston, um, Louis Vuitton here in South Carolina. So um, I had had the bag since then and I'd used it pretty frequently. I stuffed it. And so the zipper for me was not that bad. It wasn't that bad when I got it, but it wasn't that bad, you know, especially um, as of late because I've been using the bag. So, but zipping and unzipping, um, I did notice that there was like a film around the lip. And I may have talked about that when I did my initial unboxing or when I did my month, one month review. I'm not certain. Um, please, you know, go back and look at those videos if you want to actually see what the bag looked like. But around the lip of it, again, um, where, you know, the main zipper was, there looked like there was some peeling and then like you you will see like again you have the you know louis vuittons you know on there as well around the lip and some of that was peeling off and so um i went ahead and took it in to be looked at just to see like you know if it was a defect or what was going on so i went on saturday took it you know had a good um customer associate um or a sales associate i did you know talk to a guy he was very helpful. He looked at the bag. He took it in the bag. He came back like maybe 10 minutes later and told me that the bag was defective. Um, and he told me that essentially with the zipping and unzipping, if you're not careful, you can catch the canvas on the bag. And so he was telling me that it could have just been, you know, for me zipping and unzipping it, or it could have just been something already wrong with the bag when I got it. So he told me that unfortunately they couldn't do like a store credit that day for me to like leaving come back and get something else or, you know, or uh, yeah, uh, they couldn't do a store credit, but he said, yeah, we can reorder the bag. Um, but I can't tell you when you'll get the bag because it's sold out everywhere. So, um, do, is there something else you're looking at? Is there something else you want to look at and try and see? And so there was another bag I actually was looking at. So that's what I ended up getting, um, as far as the store credit and actually the difference as far as um, cause it had to be something of greater or the same value as a Palm Springs mini. So the bag I was looking at was a little bit more than a Palm Springs mini, but the difference when, you know, we computed it was only like $73 I had to pay. So that's what this item is. And that's what, 
you know, I wanted to put out there before I show you the item. So you guys, unfortunately, I'm no longer the owner of a Palm Springs mini backpack, but I'm glad to say that I was able to carry the bag for five months. I still highly recommend it. And you know, they could have ordered me another Palm Springs mini, but I felt like if that was an issue with it zipping and unzipping with the canvas catching, who's to say that wouldn't happen with the next bag. And I just was kind of thinking about the longevity of the bag and you know, like having to deal with that issue. So I just went ahead and went with this particular item that I was already looking at. Um, and my box is upside down. Here we go. So I was already looking at this item and really wanted to see it. I've seen a few videos on it, but it's a fairly new bag. So let me go ahead and open it and show you guys. So it comes in this box, which it looks like it's actually a shoe box. And I've already worn the bag out once. So this isn't like a true unboxing. Um, I have again worn the bag out once. And I actually already have a bandeau on it, so yes. So yeah, that's the box again that it comes in. This is the item right here to reveal. Doo, doo, doo. This is my new bag, you guys. And this is the Louis Vuitton Clapton Backpack and Damia Bean with the cream. Um, so I went ahead and went with this bag. I had been looking at it, looked at a couple videos on it and, um, decided that this was a bag that I really wanted to invest in because it's a backpack as well. Like the Palm Springs mini, you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it top handle. You can also, um, you know, you could just wear it top handle. You don't have to have the straps on there. Like the straps are not attached right now, but, um, yeah, like you can wear it crossbody, you can wear it with the straps, you can do everything essentially you did with the Palm Springs Mini. Um, it's just with this one, it doesn't necessarily look like a backpack, so it's a bit more to me classy. Um, whereas the back, Palm Springs Mini backpack is a very casual bag, it looks like a backpack, which there's no problem with that. But like this bag, I feel like you could wear it as a backpack, but you could also wear it to like your nicer events and occasions. And then two, I just sold my, I just sold a bag. I'm just going to say that because I'm going to talk about that in another video as well, as far as bags I've sold and like why. So I just sold a bag that was Damia Bean and I'm thinking about selling another bag that I have in Damia Bean, meaning I wouldn't have any Damia Bean bags. So that's what I was kind of looking at as well. I wanted to still have something Damia Bean in my collection because I do love the print. Um, I went ahead and went with the cream because I like that it's two-tone, so it's like a darker tan here and a lighter ivory color here. If we come a little bit closer, it's got that beautiful gold hardware and the LV right here. Um, and I did like the fact, too, that it has like these like bigger loops that kind of are in the bag or, or on the front flap because with the Palm Springs Mini, what I kind of worried about um, if you, you know, have seen the bag, you know that it has like the little black strips on the back here and that's where, you know, you put your straps on and had the D rings as well, but it kind of worried me because I had seen on somebody's bag before where like one of the, um, you know, tags or strips had come out. So that kind of worried me as well, especially as you pack the bag or you wearing it kind of rough or whatever. And I am not the gentlest person with my bag. So I do like that this is a sufficient size ring um, that you can go ahead and put your straps on, you know, on there as well. And what else? So let me go ahead and show you the inside of the bag. So, okay. I was just making sure I thought I was gonna stop recording. So this is the inside of the bag and it actually has like, it's kind of cinched in here. It has magnets on the side. So this is how you open it. And my straps are actually here in the dust bag. I'm so glad he did that for me. I asked him about that. I always mean to ask people, but I never, I forget to do that. So, but um, he did put the straps in the dust bag. So let me show you what the straps look like. And then I can show you the interior. So these are the straps. It comes with two. Again, they're the ivory color here. And you can put it on the long setting to wear it crossbody, or again, you can put it on the backpack setting. And I don't think this bag hangs as low as the Palm Springs Mini does. So I don't know that. I haven't worn it as a backpack. I don't plan to actually wear it as a backpack. Um, I plan to wear it either top handle or crossbody. So, but that's something to keep in mind as well. I don't think it actually hangs as low as the Palm Springs Mini. I'm told that this one actually fits a bit more than a Palm Springs Mini. Um, it does have a wide opening and um, it doesn't have a drawstring, so some people worry about that. 
it is cream on the interior so you do have to worry about you know again getting the bag dirty but um once you put your items in you just essentially you know push it in like that and you put it back closed so what i do like about this bag again is it is more open i feel like you can actually fit more than you can in the palm springs mini it has this back pocket like you did have in the palm springs mini but um, since the bag opens like this, you know, you can readily use this pocket. Whereas in the Palm Springs Mini, I don't really feel like you can, that pocket was as practical to use per se. So you can use this for your cell phone. And I have done that when I did carry it the one time. Um, and I also feel like, you know, you can put all your items in and you can see them at a glance when you put them in as opposed to the Palm Springs Mini where, you know, you have to kind of stack your items and you have to take certain things out if you're trying to actually get to other items inside of the bag. So, you know, just some differences with it. Also, um, a thing that I do worry about with this bag is since it is light on the top, you do have to be mindful of color transfer. Um, there's, you know, mostly the back is Damia Bean, but you do have this section here that is the cream and the ivory. So you do have to worry about, you know, color transfer and be mindful of that. So, you know, I do have the bandeau here on the strap and I'm just gonna have to be careful with it essentially. So you can, you know, also put different straps on here if you like, if that's your thing. Um, this bag does come in like a magnolia, which is a pink color, but I didn't want to be limited with just having like a pink and Damia bean bag. Like the bag was beautiful. I did try it on, but ultimately I thought cream would go with more items in my um, wardrobe. And I thought this was a beautiful bag for fall as well. So this is my new bag, you guys. So RIP Palm Springs Mini. I loved you while I carried you, but this is the new babe, the new boo. So, and I love this. Um, I have my Louis Vuitton Stevens Frost Leopard Bandeau um, on here, and I love this bandeau on top of here, like with this bag. It just seems like it made the bag come alive for me. So, you know, I was a little, yeah, mm, about the bag when I got it, but then when I put the bandeau on it, and then I put like a charm here, it was all the way lit so this is my new bag you guys and that's everything that i got um as far as the items in the past week i actually just bought a few items today but i'm going to talk about those in another video so you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxings um if you have any questions about anything just let me know i'll see um how much of the things or how many of the items i can actually link below and i'll do that so you guys hopefully you enjoyed this again um, and I will, um, definitely be back to you with another video soon, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you also share it with anyone else who, you know, likes unboxings, likes haul videos. So also make sure you comment below. Let me know what you like the most in this haul. If there's anything you're actually looking at and also make sure before you leave, you subscribe to my channel. Again, you do that by hitting that red button below and hitting the bell next to it. So you're notified when I do upload future videos. You guys, thank you so much for watching and hanging in there with me. I will see you guys in my very next video. Bye.